Hi, let's see one of the gate question which was asked in the year 2023. Consider the following program. So here, uh, various kind of uh, functions they have given. One is main function, f1 function, f2 function, and f3 function. Which one of the following option represents the activation tree corresponding to the main function? Meaning that you know, right? So when we are going to call the functions, activation tree is going to be created. Based on that activation tree, the order of your programs are going to be executed. So the same procedure we have seen earlier. Various kind of examples are there, right? So you know, uh, C program start with execution from the main method, which is again calling a fun function see we have to draw the structure main function which is calling f1 function so my cursor will comes to f1 once it done with its work it is going to return the value one it is going to complete its work it will come to here once it come to here it will start executing from the f2 so f2 is going to be called right f2 is going to be called by passing the number 2 by the number 2 right and f2 will complete the execution once it is going to done with all this but here they are going to start executing f3 function so f2 is going to call f3 f3 so cursor will move to f3 now once f3 completes execution means f3 completes execution it is going to come to one second f2 right so after this statement, it is going to execute this block once again, right? Is the x value is one here? Is the x value one? No, x value they passed here as number two, number two. So else block is going to be executed. Else block is going to be executed. That is, it is going to execute x into f2 of into f2 of 1 right so once you know this x value is 2 f2 of 1 meaning that it is again recursively calling the same function f2 is calling the same function so f2 is calling the same function f2 of 1 means so x value is 1 then it is going to It is going to call uh, which one it is going to call f3 it's going to call f3 right so f3 again cursor will comes if there is no execution it will comes back it comes back then x value is 1 so then it is going to complete f1 as f1 completes it will come back right as this entire thing completes it will come back as this enter will complete it will come back and then f3 is going to start its execution right as nothing is there in f3 it is going to simply return the value 5 it comes back this is the corresponding activation tree for the given uh, code so you can you can simply check with this diagram whichever option is matched that is our correct answer so we have to choose the best one right so f1 f2 f3 these two are matched then in the next line the f2 is going to call f3 and f2 f3 and f2 then in the next line f3 and f1 so option a is correct okay i hope you understood clearly thank you